Hey, Surge Teachers, it is a new month. We are talking about pet project, talking about responsibility. So real quick, I'm gonna give you <clears throat> the, your gospel points. Uh, we're talking about responsibility. Um, so <clears throat> and any month when, when our main point is talking about um, like a value, like responsibility or something that feels, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just something that you're supposed to do. Like, uh, hey, we are supposed to be responsible. God asks you to do these things. Um, we that is it is an easy time to express um, to share the gospel and to tell them why we do uh, we do these things, um, why we want to be responsible uh, responsible and have responsibility. Responsible uh, for this month is to, or like the definition is. I'm just going to read it so I don't mess it up. Showing you can be trusted, uh, showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. So you want to be trusted with what is expected of you. Um, so we're talking about it this month. Um, it's real easy to um, to basically say, uh, to ask your, ask your kids a question like what, why does it matter um, that we're responsible? Why as Christians does it matter that we can be trusted uh, to do the things that we're responsible for? Um, and I think the point uh, that you really want to stress is it, it's not, it's not for us. We're not doing it for us. Um, and, and ultimately it is for us as well. Like it will benefit us and it's like, it's good for your life and you, you want to live like Jesus lives. But in any of these things, um, we want to do the things so that we look like Jesus. We want to live like Jesus and not, not so that we look like Jesus, not, not, not for us. But we want to look different from the rest of the world um, so that the rest of the world sees us and says, you look different. Why? Um, and they want to know, and we, we can show people Jesus in the way that we act. Um, <clears throat> specifically uh, in responsi- for responsibility, we want to be people who can be trusted so, they, so that people will see that and understand that, that Jesus can be trusted and that God can be trusted even when life is hard. Um, and all of these other things. So, um, easy gospel points. Hit it that way. Understand um, that that's that's what it's for. That's what we're going. That's what what it's all about. Um, yeah. So feel free to have those conversations with your kids. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We'll, we'll work through it real quick here. So, first one you got is uh, is just an activity. Um, just opening questions to talk with your kids. Um, ask them who has a pet. We're talking about pet projects. So who has a pet? What are your pets? What's your favorite thing about your pet? You don't, you don't have a pet. Um, if you could have any pet, what would you have? It's good. Easy. Um, quick and easy stuff like that. Uh, then you've got this opening activity here, um, says you need, uh, index cards. That's really it. Cause, uh, what you're going to do is going to give each kid a, a, uh, index card, have them write on it um, something that they would have to do or a responsibility they would have for a pet, whether they own a pet or not. So some examples are uh, feeding it, uh, giving it a bath, playing with it, uh, picking up poop, whatever, all of these things. And so you have this list, uh, have everyone write something down so each one has one and collect them all and then lay them out on the floor so you can read all of them. Um, and then, uh, and then have someone give an example of a pet and it'd be like, a canary, and then sort the things that people have written in order of importance. Obviously feed it is probably going to be pretty high up on the priorities of almost all of the pets, but you know, other things are like play with it. Maybe not as high of a priority. So it's just another fun thing <clears throat> talking about uh, priorities and things like that. And then you've got your seashore share. So this is just your debrief time. It's a good time. Uh, debrief time. Good time to uh, talk to the gospel, stuff like that. What I was talking about earlier, gospel points. Uh, and then you've got your snapshot. Um, this is uh, talking about um, you will have these um, little half sheets. Uh, each of them represents a... Uh, people or something. Let me see if I can find it. I already had them out for here. Um, it's like categories of things that you that you do. Or, cat- yeah, they're just categories of love languages, essentially. <clears throat> oh, it's it's literally, it's it's the five love languages. 
uh, and then there's a sixth one that says God. Um, and so you tape these up on a wall somewhere, um, and then, um, and then have people say things, uh, go through, um, and have them, uh, like list, uh, ideas of ways that you can show love to people. Uh, and then, uh, and then, ha and then you, or have, you can have a volunteer to this as well. Make a tally on, on, a, on that half sheet that represents each of the love languages. Um, and, and every time that you mark a tally for each love language, also mark a, t a tally on the God half sheet, <clears throat> because every time you show love to someone in a way, uh, what, in whatever love language it is, you're also showing God love because God wants us to love other people and you love God in doing that. It's just a thing. So that's a fun thing there. Um, <clears throat> you have, you have a game where you, uh, whisper one of these activities into a kid's ear and they have to act it out uh, and they relate to the Bible story. You have some discussion questions. <clears throat> you have a, um, a memory verse activity. Um, you have these bowls. You can fill them with pom-poms um, and fill them with these little sheets of paper that have each word of the memory verse. Um, fill two of, the, two of the bowls, put them at the end of the room and then have kids um, crawl like dogs or cats or whatever animal they choose across the room. And then they're going to sift through the bowl. It's a dog bowl, but it's not a dog bowl. It's just a bowl, but you can call that a dog bowl. <clears throat> and then they have to try to pull out a piece of paper and then they're going to bring it back. And they're trying to put the verse in order. They have to get all the pieces of paper. You can only bring one piece at a time. It's my reverse activity. Um, and then you've got your, um, uh, your, uh, pet project jars, your prep pair, your pet prayer jars. Um, they look like this. Um, I didn't get actual jars. So we're using these, um, sheets, uh, and they will write, um, like prayer requests on them. Uh, and then I think try to tell them to keep them or maybe keep them with you. Cause I think we're going to use these for a couple weeks. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they can decorate them and put things on them and whatever. And then uh, they'll write out different uh, different things that they uh, want on that. So, yeah, easy. And then you've got your your extras tag uh, here at the end as well. So, all right, that's all I got. Thanks, team. Rock on. Um, yeah, see you next time.